As of 2013, the Palo Alto Municipal Utility is delivering 100% carbon neutral electricity to its residential and commercial customers. Uh, that's carbon neutral both through renewable energy that we're actually purchasing and delivering as well as through RECS renewable energy credits or carbon offsets that we're providing to offset the emissions from the parts of the portfolio that aren't yet renewable. That's the first step. The second step is that by 2017, the portfolio will be 100% renewable energy across the board without, uh, without the RECs, without the offsets. And this is a big deal. There are very few cities that have accomplished this. I think Seattle was one of the earliest in the United States because of the massive hydropower resources that Seattle has had. Uh, for Palo Alto, it's taken a concerted and focused program to identify resources, to develop power purchase agreements, to work out the economics, and to be able to deliver cost-effective renewable energy uh, to the entire customer base of the Palo Alto utilities. So this is really exciting in itself because it's such a novel step for a city to do, but it also opens up all sorts of new possibilities. For example, uh, we deliver electricity and we deliver natural gas. Natural gas has a carbon footprint. We now have the opportunity to try to fuel switch, to, to move people from using natural gas for their water heating and their cooking and their space heating uh, and using electricity instead. You know, 30, 40 years ago, we were trying to move people away from all electric kitchens to natural gas because the electricity was dirty, it was coal, uh, and gas was cleaner, and now we're swinging back the other way. So first step is carbon neutral electricity. Next step will be carbon neutral portfolio overall. It's going to take us a while to get there, but that clearly becomes an opportunity that's opened up by what we've accomplished so far. You know, the work we're doing plays out at several scales. Obviously, the primary focus is the city of Palo Alto. I'm paid for by the taxpayers of the city, and a, a primary job is to improve the quality of life and the prosperity and the resilience of this community. But in fact, we can't do that alone. The rising waters of the bay don't re respect municipal boundaries. Uh, the commute shed uh, of the entire peninsula doesn't respect municipal boundaries. There's traffic going through from one city to another. Uh, the air and the climate is something we all share, and the economy is something that we all share. So a lot of these problems have to be solved at regional scale, uh, as well as state and national scale. Um, cities have an enormous opportunity to innovate and to move quickly and with more agility uh, than national governments can, certainly in the United States these days. But ultimately, sustainability is a team sport, and it's something that we have to do together. So we're looking at ways to collaborate both with our neighbor cities and the other cities of the Bay Area to raise the game for all of us and to achieve things that none of us can achieve individually. At the same time, Palo Alto is not going to wait for that. We're going to innovate as, as, as effectively and as quickly as we can. Uh, and in some cases, we will lead other cities. In some cases, other cities will lead us. And we'll learn from each other and ratchet the game up for all of us. So the response has been great. People are enthusiastic about this. Nobody wants to be polluting more than they have to, or at least nobody around here wants to be polluting more than they have to. Uh, so people are enthusiastic that we've been able to accomplish this. I think people are proud of it. Uh, and people are asking, OK, now what? You know, we've done that. What's next? What's the next step on this journey? Where do we take this thing to? And I think in, you know, in keeping with, um, uh, with the kind of direction that your organization has been looking at, the opportunity is 100% renewable. Uh, you know, Let's face the facts, the planet is 100% renewable. The life systems of the planet run on solar energy. Uh, they've been doing that for billions of years. How do we learn from that? How do we adopt that playbook into the life of a city, into the life of, of a regional economy, into the life of a global economy? And you know, what are the steps that are necessary? What are the technologies and the policies and the actions that are necessary to take us to 100% renewable? And those are some of the questions that we'll be asking in the coming years.